Hello lovelies, and welcome to a new video. So, time got away from us a little bit, but throughout spooky season, we were keeping track of all of the spooky movies we were watching and rating them for you guys. So, do you know how many movies we ended up watching? 20? Close. 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 17. I think 20 was the goal. So. Let us begin. So the first movie that we watched was the original Firestarter. It was streaming on Peacock, came out in 1984, and was rated R. The description in case you don't know. And our reviews are going to be spoiler free in case you want to watch any of these movies. We're not gonna ruin them for you. <laughs> a couple who participates in a medical experiment game, gain a telepathic ability and have a child who is parokinetic. So, we did a rating of one to five. Was it scary? And then just like other review notes. So do you want me to go first? Sure. So I rated Firestarter a four out of five. I did it a five out of five. And then neither one of us thought it was particularly scary. Mm -hmm. um, but we both, you said it was like suspenseful and you enjoyed it. I think it's a good 80s thriller, um, even for today's standard. And itsy bitsy little Drew Barrymore is quite adorable in that movie. Cause she's just a baby yeah. in the movie. So then we have The Wretched which is on Netflix, came out in 2019, rated at TVMA. The description, a teen is pulled into a horrifying fight against evil when an ancient spirit uh, targets the family next door. I rated it a four out of five. Um, I did it a four out of five also. <laughs> Um, I said that there was creepy parts, but you definitely thought that this one was scary. Yes, it, it, it was scary. <laughs> so I said that there was good lighting in this because there's sometimes in horror movies when you can't see anything that's happening. Definitely liked parts of it and parts of the storyline. So it was like overall like a, like a good find of a movie, I would say. It, it was definitely something that was different. It was um, a different, a different movie. Yeah. Um, didn't have like the same type of things that other movies had so that made it good Okay. Then we did Ouija origin of evil this one was on Netflix um, It came out in 2016 was rated PG-13 Description, in 60s California, a fake medium's daughter tries to talk to her father through a Ouija board, but unleashes a demon instead. Dun, dun, dun. I rated this a 4 out of 5. I rated it a 4 out of 5. Um, there was definitely creepy parts to it. I'm a fan of some of the, the cast in this. I think that this is, um, I'm a fan of the director of this one as well. Um, I think it's a Mike Flanagan movie, which he's the one that did the Hill House movie, or show, mm -hmm. and some of those other movies that I really like. I'm a fan of Mike Flanagan's creepy stuff, so. And it was a decent story and good acting, so. You may, you may note that there's jump scares. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up we have Black Phone, which was on Peacock. Came out in 2021. Um, I'm not sure what it's rated. We might have watched an unrated version. After being abducted, a 13 year old boy receives calls from a disconnected phone from the, vic from the previous victims. I rated this a five out of five. I did it a four and a half out of five. I love this movie. 
I thought it was fantastic. Um, there was definitely creepy and really good acting in it. And it was like kind of like a different story from what, I don't know. I liked the concept of this one specifically. I thought it was like a mind twist kind of thriller because it was something that you know you haven't seen before in other ones but it was very good. And it was also one of those times when you're supposed to like listen to your children. <laughs> People never listen to their children. Then we did Child's Play. So this was streaming on AMC. I had never seen the original Child's Play. I think you had seen bits and pieces of it. Yeah. So it came out in 88 and it was rated R. So obviously woman buys a killer Chucky doll for her son. <laughs> I loved this movie. I think it's great. I think it still holds up today. I gave it a five out of five. You did too. I did also. Yeah. We both pretty much enjoyed this movie because I had seen, I had seen The Bride of Chucky and parts of The Seed of Chucky, but I'd never seen the original. So I kind of want to go through and watch all of it and I know that they're kind of having like a resurgence right now there's like a Chucky TV series that's like super popular that I kind of want to watch but um, it was definitely creepy um, but I totally would watch this movie again totally loved it next movie is Hellraiser <laughs> it was streaming on Tubi Hellraiser is one that a bunch of you told me that I had to see because being a horror movie fan, how have I not seen Hellraiser? This one was the original, came out in 1987, was rated R. Woman finds a newly reconstructed, partially formed body of her brother-in-law. She then starts killing for him so he can escape his demonic beings. I gave this a two. <laughs> you were more kind than I was. I did a four out of five. I did not like this movie. I didn't. Um, I'm not a huge fan of gore. I like, it's like, okay, but like, I'm not a huge fan of the goriness of it. Um, I think the daughter character in this movie is the saving grace of it, but I did not like this movie and I will probably never watch any of the other ones. Have you seen any of the other ones? No. I, and then I had never seen any of them. And, and then there's the new one that came out. And I probably won't watch it because I despise, I didn't, I mean, I gave it a two. So I guess it could have been worse, but I did not like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> then we watched When a Stranger Calls, the original. There's a theme. <laughs> we did a lot of older movies. So this came out in 1979, was rated R. Psychopathic killer terrorizes a babysitter, then returns seven years later. So I had seen the remake of this movie several times. I really liked the remake, but I'd never seen the original. Um, I gave it a three out of five. You gave it a four out of five. Four out of five. So my review of this is, I thought it was creepy. And it was, a, it was good acting and all that, but the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie are really intense and I enjoyed them. The middle is boring. So boring. <laughs> like, I don't know. There was definitely like some parts. There was a part towards the end that super creeped me out. So like it gets points for that. But the middle part of it, it was just so boring. Yeah. I felt like I was going to fall asleep on the couch. The end really creeped me the out. The end is yes. creepy. Yeah. So I, it's like you have to go through the middle of it, but I do think the remake is better. Then we found Marrowbone on Hulu. This came out in 2017, rated R. A young man and his siblings conceal the death of their mother to stay together, but are plagued by a sinister presence in their house. This is one that we just like randomly found. Um, what was it? What was it? Hulu. On Hulu. And this is probably my favorite movie we watched this year. I gave it a 5 out of 5. I did a 4 out of 5. Mm hmm There's... It's definitely very suspenseful and creepy and like supernatural. And there's a bunch of like aspects of this movie that I really enjoyed, but I won't say because I don't want to spoil anything. Because mm -hmm. like there's points of the storyline that like you, I can't tell you anything about it. 
but it was definitely for a worth watching one it is worth watching um it's it, it can have sad themes to it though so keep that in mind <laughs> but it's a really good cast and um everyone does a really good job in it then we did let me in on hulu um from 2010 rated r Oh, and a bullied boy finds revenge through Abby, a beautiful but peculiar girl. I gave this a 4 out of 5. I also did a 4 out of 5. It wasn't scary to me, but um, it was a good... I don't know. It was a good movie. It, I enjoyed it. It wasn't, like, super scary. It just reminds you how much you hate bullies, though, because... Don't be a bully. Bullying is bad. And you liked the premise and the story of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we go to a different movie, which you guys will probably be shocked that neither one of us had seen. That would be Rocky Horror Picture Show. Never seen it. And it was streaming on Hulu, so 1975 rated R. Newly engaged couple have a breakdown in an isolated uh, area and must seek shelter at a bizarre residence of Dr. Frankenfrutter. I gave it a three. I gave it a three. I understand why it has such a cult following, though. I do understand it. Um, not all of it was my cup of tea, but I do get it. And it's funny, even though I hadn't seen it, I like knew all the music already. Yeah. Which was odd. Not scary to me. I mean, um, it was one of those movies that, like, I feel like I had to be on the list of, like, to watch. Like, I had to watch it at some point. I don't know if I'll ever watch it again. I might, I might not. I don't know. <laughs> I like Tim Curry and I like Susan Sarandon, so. Prom Night, another original from 1980, rated R. At a high school senior prom, a mass killer stalks four teenagers responsible for their classmates' death. I rated this a four out of five. You got four out of five, four point five out of five, slightly over. Right. We did a lot of Jamie Lee Curtis this year, but like a lot of young Jamie Lee Curtis ones we did this year. Ones and and then one movies that neither one of us had seen, even though they were old ones. We well, yeah, of... all of the ones. I mean, there was a couple other ones we watched that we didn't put on this list, but all of these ones we had not seen. Mm -hmm. These were new watches for us. Right. Um, and you know. We just had to give love to the Scream Queen, of course. Um, Prom Night's another one that I had seen the remake. Right. Before the original. It's a very different movie. Mm -hmm. um, the storyline is very different. Like, some of the concepts are kind of the same, but the remake really did a totally different story. So I like that sometimes because I can go back and watch the original and be surprised by what's happening mm -hmm. instead of just it's the same storyline. Right. But another reason, like, like kids are, kids are annoying and bullyish and children. Ugh. Yuck. Speaking of Jamie Lee Curtis, we, of course, watched the Halloween Ends, the final one from this year, 2022, on Peacock. Rated R, the saga of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode comes to an end. I gave this a three out of five. You were undecided. I was undecided. Um, there was parts of it I really, really liked, and then parts of it I didn't really like or didn't follow. So, I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, was amazing in it, and so I liked that, but there was there was parts of it that I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they could have went in a different way or, you I've, know. Every t person I've talked to this movie about, I said, I, like enjoyed Jamie Lee Curtis and Laurie Strode's character and I really enjoyed the ending. A bunch of the stuff in the middle, like half or half of the movie I could have done without. So that's what drops the score for me and makes some of the previous movies better in my opinion. It was a weird direction they went in for this final Michael Myers movie. Right. It was weird. But we love Jamie Lee Curtis. Mr. Harrigan's Phone on Netflix from this year, 2022, rated PG-13. A boy and an aging billionaire bond over books and their 
first iPhones, but when the man passes, their connection refuses to die. Four out of five. Four out of five. This is a good one. It was good acting, good cast. Um, this is based off of a Stephen King short story right. and we were actually told by a barista <laughs> that um this movie is super close to the short story she said she was very impressed by how close the movie was to the book i don't think it was scary mm -mm. more intriguing mm -hmm. and interesting very unique story very unique story um and you know like i said the actors are really good in the the, in the main two parts Then we have The Fog from 1980 that was on Prime, rated R. Um, the description, an unearthly, unearthly fog rolls into a small coastal town um, looking for revenge from 100 years ago. Dun, 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 dun. I got three and a half out of five. I did three and a half out of five also. It's a good movie though. I haven't seen the remake. You have. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the remake of it, but I enjoyed it, and I, I love stories where there's like town history and stuff like that. So I definitely got that aspect of it for this movie, um, and it was a good cast, but um, wasn't overly scary to me. Mm. Then we have uh, the Curse of Bridge Hollow. This is not scary. This is a family movie. <laughs> But we include it anyway. From this year, 2022, um, Netflix, TV 14. I gave it four, and a, uh, four out of five. I did four and a half out of five. So like I said, not scary. It's a family movie. But it's a super cute Halloween movie. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's very cute. <laughs> um, so if you're looking for like a, like a family movie, it's a cute concept as well. There needs to be like more like cute Halloween movies that come out like this. Then we watched Abandoned from 2022, rated PG-13. After a young couple moves into a remote farmhouse with their infant son, uh, the woman's struggle with postpartum begins to intensify as the house reveals its secrets. I gave it a three and a half out of five. You were undecided. I was undecided. Um... Emma Roberts is really good in this movie, but there are aspects that it's creepy, but there are aspects um, of this movie that are very frustrating as a viewer. But I think it's supposed to be frustrating because you're supposed to kind of feel for Emma Roberts' character. But, but the cast overall was really good. I did like the story. Um, it gets sad and darker as like those type of spooky ghost stories can go. But I thought it was a, a decent watch. And then our final movie we watched was Oma from 2022 on Netflix, rated PG-13. Amanda and her daughter live a quiet life on a farm, but when the remains of her mother arrive from Korea, she is haunted by the fear of turning into her mother. I gave it a four out of five. I also did a four out of five. Yep. It wasn't too scary for me. More scary for you. Yeah. More? Yeah. Um, the cast is really good. I love Sandra O. Oh. That's actually the reason like I clicked on it because I like her. Um, it was a good storyline. It was a different story. I mean, it was different, you know, than anything I've seen. So mm -hmm. it had a, you know. Good. You had more of like the um, Korean lore with it which I liked a lot because it had more to do with like what her family was talking about and whatnot and like the past that she was running from mm -hmm. and whatnot but still a really good movie. So recap for our spooky season. Fire starter the Wretched, Ouija Origin of Evil, Black Phone, Child's Play, Hellraiser, When a Stranger Calls, Marrowbone, 
Let Me In, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Prom Night, Halloween Ends, Mr. Harrigan's Home, The Fog, The Curse of Bridge Hollow, Abandoned, and Oma. I think if you go off of rating mine, my favorite was the Mar Marabone. I think. Did you give any fives? I think so. Firestarter you did. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, oh, I gave, oh, so Black Phone could be my favorite too. Oh, I gave Child's Play too. I was generous. I thought I was being mean. Apparently not. Marabone, I think I did five. Yep. Ours were slightly, some of them we did the same and some of them were slightly tipped differently. Mm -hmm. Depending on our preference or whatnot. All right. Thank you so much for watching our spooky movie review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some movie suggestions from it. See you soon. Bye.